what NVC is asking for W-2 form is the paper, the document you receive from your employer. The W-2 form is said on the paper W-2, okay, W-2 form. That's what they ask for. So you cannot use your task transcript as a W-2 if you misplace your W-2. On the other hand, you can use your task transcript if USA Mon. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome. In today's video, we're going to cover two questions I received from uh, some of you guys regarding our I-130 process. Uh, and also, we're going to cover NVC update uh, for some of you guys who didn't have a chance to check NVC website since Monday. All right. So first question of uh, today's video is coming from Slick uh, Jig. Here is the question. Hello, brother. I'm asking, uh, what I'm asking is uh, if you don't have your W-2, maybe you misplace it. Can we use the task transcript in replacement of that? Please, Brother John, I'm just asking. What then some for the question? So, one thing you have to know is that uh, task return is different than W-2. Task transcript is different than W-2. So the W-2 is basically the document you receive from your employer at the end of the year uh, uh, describing uh, with information about your income, you know, your wage, the tax that you pay, or federal tax or state, state tax and stuff like that. Those are listed on your W-2, okay? Uh, tax transcript or tax return uh, is another document. So you take your W-2 form to a task preparer and then the task preparer will uh, 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 prepare the task for you. So now, you wanna know if you can uh, replace a W-2 with a task uh, transcript. Uh, well, based on my knowledge, those documents are two different things. What NVC is asking for a W-2 form is the paper, the document you receive from your employer. The W-2 form is said on the paper W-2, okay, W-2 form. That's what they ask for. So you cannot use your task transcript as a W-2 if you misplace your W-2. On the other hand, you can use your task transcript if you don't have your task return document because when the task preparer prepare a document for you, or all the stuff, they're gonna give you a document, okay? It's a task return, a document, okay? So you can use the task transcript in case you misplace your, your task return, and you can order your task transcript uh, from an uh, IRS uh, website, okay? But for W-2, if you misplace that document, you can, uh, you know, contact your employer, or, or maybe it's a former employer, you can contact them and see if they can, uh, retrieve that W-2 for you based on the year, okay? If it's the one from 2022, just ask them to see if they can uh, provide a W-2 or copy, a copy of the W-2 form from 2022, okay? That will be my answer to your question, but you cannot use a task transcript uh, with, uh, uh, in case so you, you don't have your W-2 or you lost your W-2 form, okay? And then another thing is, NVC preferred task transcript before because uh, those documents are not a lot of documents, okay? They are kind of small compared to W uh, task return and they can process the task transcript better, quicker, faster than task return, okay? I hope I answer your question. Now let's move to question number two. Before that, if it's your first time here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers permanent resident and also for some U.S. citizens, especially regarding the I-130 process. Sometimes we cover other topics, anything that can uh, assist or uh, that can help uh, uh, newcomers to have a better life here in the United States of America. I need to do, uh, I need to do a good job on that because it's been a while since uh, I cover other topics like uh, uh, financial topic or, you know, how to find a job and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, the second question uh, is coming from on uh, Jian Harnaren 7313, Diana, I should say, I'm just pronouncing French, Diana Harmaren 7313. Uh, Here's the question. Hello, sir, I found your video very interesting. One question, please, I live in St. 
Martin, a little over a year. I have never been uh, back to that country. I came to Guyana in uh, 1995. Do I, need, uh, do I need a police clearance uh, from that country for my US uh, visa interview? Thank you. Well, thanks for the question. That's a good question, okay? So I'm assuming you are in uh, uh, I-130 process, okay? Meaning that you're going to get an immigrant visa to come to the United States of America. So according to NVC, uh, I talk about this a lot on this channel. According to NVC, if you live in a country, okay, when you were 16 uh, or older, or uh, since you were 16 uh, or older, you have to provide a police claim certificate of that country. Okay? Even if you left the country, you never go back to the country, you have to provide a police claim certificate of that country. Okay, so in your situation, uh, if you were 16 years old or older, when you were you live in St. Martin, yes, you have to pro provide on a police claim certificate, uh, also called PCC of that country. Okay, but now, another thing is, or maybe that's where people get confused. If you submit your uh, police claim certificate to NVC, it's been uh, two years, and uh, you Let's say you submit a police clearance certificate of Saint Martin in uh, no, Guyana. It's been two years, and you never go back to Saint Martin. Well, you, when you're trying to renew your police clearance certificate, you're only gonna provide the police clearance certificate of Guyana because you didn't go back to Saint Martin since you submit your document to NVC National Visa Center. Okay, I know that's not uh, your question, but I'm just trying to you know take opportunity to clarify this uh, for some of uh, uh, the viewers. Okay, so in your situation, yes. In case you were 16 when you were there, you have to police, provide a police clearance certificate. So guys, uh, I know I didn't have a chance to uh, make a video about NVC update on this week. Uh, I was very busy. So this week, um, basically what happened, what is going on is NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases. Okay, I want 30 cases they receive from uh, USCIS on December 30th of 2023, uh, meaning that some of you guys will receive a welcome letter and uh, start the immigrant visa process. In case you didn't receive your welcome letter because you are not immediate relative or you have to wait until your priority becomes current, once you receive it, you, go, you can start your immigrant visa process. So some of you guys uh, who will uh, get a, uh, uh, a welcome letter soon, once you log into NVC using the case number invoice ID, you have to start, uh, you know, you have to pay fees and then start uploading uh, documents, civil document. The petitioner will, uh, you know, upload some document as well. So once you fill it out, you, you guys on submit the document, you, the petitioner, and the and then immigrant submission document, pay the fees. NVC will review everything. So this week, they announced on the website that they are reviewing documents they received from you guys on, on January 2nd, 2020. Uh, four, and then meaning that uh, some of you guys, uh, whose document been reviewed, uh, if it's a, if there is nothing to do, like there is no mistake in the document you you submit, uh, the fee you pay is the correct fee. You just have to wait until NVC is able to schedule any of your appointment uh, for you. Okay. The third update is on uh, you know regarding inquiry. Some of you guys send the inquiry to NVC asking different questions. They are responding to the one they received from you guys on January. 3rd of 2024, uh, check your inbox and see uh, if NVC replied to your inquiry. So guys, uh, if you like the video, click on the like button, share the video, and also subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in another video. USA Monday.